Okay, so here we're working with a pipe. We're given the diameter of it, pressure, temperature, and velocity of the steam flowing through it, and we're looking for the mass flow rate in kilograms per second. So in the schematic here, we have steam flowing through this pipe. We have the diameter is 1.6 centimeters. We have the pressure is 80 bar, the temperature is 600 Celsius, and the velocity is 150 meters per second, and we're looking for that mass flow rate. So to find that mass flow rate, we're gonna use the relation of m dot equals velocity times area divided by specific volume. If we fill in what we know, we have m dot equals velocity was 150, and I'm gonna keep the units here, meters per second, times the area, which would just be pi over four d squared, so pi over four. Diameter is 1.6 centimeters, which is uh, 1.6 centimeters equals 0 0.016 meters, which is what we're looking for. We need that unit. So times d squared, 0 0.016 meters, you square that, and that's your area. You divide that by your specific volume, which is what we're about to look for. So to find that specific volume, we have two things here. We have 600 degrees Celsius and 80 bar. So let's go over the saturated tables. So we go down to 80 bar. We see that the saturation temperature is 295.1. We're definitely way above that. We're over double, we're at 600. So we're in the superheated region. So we turn to table A4, go to 80 bar and go to 600 degrees Celsius. And you'll find that your specific volume, I'll circle it right over here, 0 0.048. 845. So you divide that by 0 0.04845, and that's uh, meters cubed per kilogram. Now let's just do some unit cancellation. So you have a meter times a meter up top. So this meter times this meter, which is squared. So you have a meter squared times meters a meter cubed. And you have a meter cubed on the bottom, so these can get canceled out. And you see what you're left with? You're left with kilograms and a denominator in the denominator and a second up top and a denominator, which is going to leave you with kilograms per second. And if you plug all this into a calculator, you'll have that m dot is equal to 0 0.6225 kilograms per second.